Hello, bros. We're here with another beer review. As the morons light fireworks. New Holland Peach Space Machine Hazy IPA 6.8% alcohol. And as you'll see on the can, maybe you won't see it. Let's see if we can get the focus here. There we go. California, blah, blah, blah. You see it? Michigan. 10 cent deposit. Barely see it, but it's there. Anyway, that's how I got this beer. I cashed in a bunch of cans that other troglodytes discard. And I put them all into a crunchy machine. Instead of getting one six pack, I got two six packs for nine bucks. And this is one of them. I've had the uh, New Holland Tangerine Space Machine. And it was quite good, so I figured I'd have this one, bruv. But yeah, this Michigan 10 cent bottle law, which has been in effect for about 50 years. There it is. Now you can see it. Michigan and Oregon, 10 cents. Or is it Oregon? Michigan, Oregon, which is funny because that's where my me mother is from, Oregon. What? Hold on. Listen to this idiocy. Now it stops, thankfully. Listen, I am not against fireworks, but, I mean, why would you just set off about a thousand sparklers? It's just dumb. It's dumb. Anyway, back to the 10 cent deposit. Well, there goes the sparklers again. Listen to that monstrosity. So, yeah, this 10 cent deposit. I've used it to buy my kid probably 500 Pokemon cards. What else have I bought? Basically buys me my chicken every month. Buy like five packs of chicken with the cans I accrue at work and wherever. It's just insane that people throw these away. Hey, I bought a six pack and I paid 60 cents, but I'm just going to not return them. You literally just go, and it goes into a machine and crunches. Just like that. Kind of like this. It just fucking crunches them. You get 10 cents, it goes. Just imagine, all those are dimes. Dimes. Yeah. I'll be honest, You could, if you... If you're a bum in Michigan, within an hour, you should be able to buy, if you use any sort of effort in a urban area, you can find easily 10 cans probably within an hour on your hobo, hobo walks. You can find, and you got enough to buy yourself a shooter. So, yeah, I'm against laws against, like, basically everything, including murder. But this law is 10-cent bottle deposit. That's the only law I believe in. I mean, murder, you can justify that, minus the state, there were probably more random murders, and then there was probably retaliatory, familial revenge but in the long run minus the wars I mean murder from person to person is a scintilla of what the government's 
um, accrue in, within 100 years. What do you figure? In the 20th century, there was probably 200 million deaths due to war and governments, minimally. And of the 8 billion people that are alive now, do you really think there's going to be 200 million murders in that same time frame? Probably not. There'd probably still be 50 million, but that's a quarter of what there would be. So, yeah, the only law I believe in is the Michigan 10 cent bottle deposit. These other ones, five cents, you ain't doing anything. You got to get a dime, buddy. Just like men are looking for dime women. <laughs> men, industrial men are looking for dimes in the old metal can. Yeah, the beer ain't, it ain't so bad. I prefer the tangerine flavor, but. This is one's a little more dry, I would say. It's just got a more like a hop flavor. The peaches, peach tastes fake. Not necessarily fake, but probably chemically induced. Whereas the tangerine actually tastes like tangerines. This tastes like peach, but it just tastes like chemically washed peach. Ale with natural flavors. Well, I'm sure that's something to do with the. Uh, the fermentation process probably alters the peach. It's got a little tack to it, some kind of hoppy tack. I don't know what the exact hop it is, and even if I knew what hop it was, I wouldn't be able to tell you, bruv, what the fuck is this? Gelazig Times. It just gave me a bad, bad feeling about this beer. Gelazig. Come on. Don't be dumb. It's bad enough you're calling this a space machine. A space machine. Why is it a space machine? Brewed and canned by New Holland. New Holland's pretty damn good. I'll give them that once. It's, it's anything to do with the UFO, though. I don't understand. Let's show that 10 cent deposit again. I was kind of shocked that I was abs actually allowed by the intelligentsia to actually buy a beer on a holiday, which I'm pretty sure up until uh, recently, a year or two ago, you could not buy a, a freaking beer on a holiday. Look at that. Look at it down there, buddy. I'm not letting you get away, buddy. You're coming out. No, maybe it's all gone. I see a remnant in there, buddy. I will not let it go. I'm going to give this beer about a six point. Eh. Check out that. That ring on this cheap vintage. Whatever the hell you call this coffee table. Yeah, I'm not high on this peach one. It's not bad. I'll give it a six. Maybe I'll change it to a six. It's six eight. Doesn't taste anything like an IPA. Not that I'm a particular fan of IPAs, but Tangerine Space Machine is probably an eight point seven. Because I don't really like hoppy IPAs. The fruity ones are actually okay, like the strawberry IPA. There's certain ones, the grapefruit ones are really good, but this one, yeah, 6.8. These rings, like crop circles, I give them an 8.2. This... Dude, I can see the sparklers... In my crappy little, uh, one of those called China stands. I can see I'm still doing sparklers. Just stop. I 
What was I saying? Oh, yeah, I get my poison ivy that's starting to grow on my neck. So I decided to cut down the foliage on the back fence. I'll give that a 7.2 because it's not festering yet. But it's getting there. And my ear earlobe is growing fat. Fat. So yeah, 6'8".